Yes, welcome back on this channel. So today we are back with another video. In today's video, I'm gonna share with you a VPN app that will help you to secure your connection as you are using the internet. This app is called HTTP Custom. I'm gonna share with you on how to set it up and on how to create its files. So, so in today's guide, I'm gonna show you how to set up HTTP Custom and how to create and lock http custom files that provide a secure browsing as you are using the internet so this app is on google play store head over to google play store where you can search and install apps so when you reach on google play store you search for this app http custom so you install this app on your device and after installing this app on your device you open it and as we open this app on this channel we share apps that helps you to secure your connection and extra layer of security as you are using the internet and in today's video this app i'm sharing with you it can help you to secure your connection add extra layer of security and also it can help you to enhance on your online connection as you are browsing the internet so this app is called http custom vpn so for it to function you must do some settings and for example you can set up this setting uh, this this option of throw dns or you can set up udp custom or you can set up v2ray option this one you can set up siphon you can use payload but in today's gate we are gonna choose one of the available protocols so that I can show you on how to set it up and how to create its locked configuration files which provide a secure connection experience. So for the, for, for the purpose of this guide, I'm gonna use UDP custom as a connection method. So I will take this box near the UDP custom and I will show you on how to set it up and how to create its files. And we are gonna follow the correct procedures which can help us to set up this app and get a secure connection and also we protect on, and we learn how to create locked files to prevent them from unwanted editings and these files will also help you to get a, a like a secure connection in case you connect with with them to create the a udp account in order to create a udp custom account so you must create one in order to set up this app so it requires an account right here so let me show you how to create this account and after showing you how to create the account i will show you on how to use to like to create the files which help you to secure your connection and when and the, to create the account open chrome or any search engine and when you reach there you search for any vpn like any website that can help you to create the files and for today's guide, I will give you this site which will help you to to create the account. The, the, the site is called is called VPN Giantis. This is the site. So you visit this site. And when you reach on this site, I already shared with, with you the site on how to use it. But in case you didn't watch our previous video, these are the, the procedures. So you tap on the menu button. And from here you pick you pick this free vpn option and from here you can see that when you tap on the vpn option it will open a sub menu where you will be required to pick any of the available you can choose wireguard v2ray and so on but for the purpose of this video we are gonna use the free ssh tunnel in order to create the udp account which will help us to configure the http custom app and get a social connection and also i will show you how to create the files of this app and after picking like the option the ssh tunnel you will be required to pick a duration for how long you want this account to be working until all the validity of the account you can either choose five six or seven days so it depends on your needs but for the sake of today's guide let me pick seven days so when you reach on this page so you will scroll down until you find create user name ssh tunnel so you tap on this option in order to create the account and after that you'll be prompted to enter the username and the password 
so you'll be prompted to enter username password and also verify i'm not a robot after doing these simple tasks you'll be requested to click on create username ssh tunnel in order to create your account and let's do it very fast so after entering the username and the any password you click on verify like you verify i'm not robot then click on the create username ssh tunnel to create your account so you give this r uh, like this website a few seconds to process your request and after a few like, seconds this uh, like this website will process your account details i recently shared on how you can transfer these account details into the http custom app and in case you don't know how we will show you on how to transfer these account details into the http custom app in order to set it up and utilize it to secure our online connection and also i'll show you how to create the files so you just make sure that you subscribe on this channel you turn on the bell notification and also you comment where you don't understand as we proceed please make sure to subscribe and also you'll be notified in case we upload a new video and also you can comment just in case you need some help and this is how to transfer the account details first of all you we are gonna follow the app procedures and let's open the http custom app so when we open the app uh, like this http custom app we can see here that we need ip address followed by this option and we need the port and we need the username and also we need the password all this information is generated on the site so you go back on the site and then you transfer as instructed in within the app so you make sure to be isolated in order for this app to work as it secures your connection as you are browsing the internet and in case you you follow the right prompts of this app like the right instructions also your created files will be working but in case you don't follow the app instructions on how to set it up your files will not work so make sure to follow the app instructions on how to set it up so let's try to transfer the account details you go back on the site first of all as i shared with you the app it first requires us the ip and this is the ip where you see SA, the server host ssh you can see that it is the ip so you copy this ip and then you open the app http custom app and when you reach in the http custom app you paste it here so make sure to follow me so that you are isolated in order for this app to work and also your created files to work and next we need to bring in this uh, it is called the double colon so you put it there uh, you put there this dots the two dots so you put there the two dots as you can see on your screen and the other thing is we are required to bring in the port so this information is already there so you go back and pick the port so when you reach on the site you look for this option where you see udp custom port so this is the port the udp custom port so you copy this udp custom port and you head over to the app so when you reach in the http custom app you write the port so you bring in this then after that you you write the port as you saw it on the site so you write the port as seen on the site just like the way i'm doing it like that and after that we bring in this i don't know how we can call it but it is called each sign that each sign remember we are following the app instructions so that we can set it up and get a secure connection and extra protection as we are browsing online and the other thing we are gonna share with you we are gonna show you how to create the files after setting up the app after these steps so we we can't just show you how to create the files minus showing you how to set it up so you must watch this part and then also you will be able to create your working files so you bring in this each sign so this is the sign i'm talking about on your screen remember this is instructed instructed within this app so that it can work as it secures your connection so that is the other step and the other step we are gonna do is we are gonna bring in the username so you go back on the site you look for where you see username username ssh then you click on the copy button 
and when you copy the username you bring it here and then you paste it right here make sure to follow the apple instructions and after that you bring in this two dots as you can see on your screen just like that and lastly we are gonna copy the password so you go back on the site you look for where you see password ssh and when you see that you click on copy then you open the http custom app and from here you need to put in this like the two dots after putting the two dots we are instructed to put there the password so i'll put there the password i'll put there the password just like the way i'm doing it like that and after successful putting there here the password enable this option in case you haven't yet you enable it and first of all before we create the files all that we have been doing we have been creating the udp custom account and these next steps we are going to show you how to create the http custom files which will help you to prevent users from un un unwanted editings and also users will be using these files to get a sexual connection and extra protection alongside with http custom app as they are connected to the internet so after that like to create the files you are required first of all you have to to start this vpn app and you see whether your settings are accurate in case you are not accurate your files will not work so make sure to click on connect and you see whether the app connects and if it doesn't connect you cross check your settings right here and you make it accurate so that it connects so let me first tap on this connect button and right here you can see that the app is connected when we check the logs the app is connected right here so this means that our settings are accurately set within the app and it means that our files will also be working and this is how we create the files first of all you are required to disconnect the app and next after disconnecting the app make sure you don't edit the settings make sure to leave them as they are and you tap on this plus button down below here and then after that you click on save config this option will help you to save your settings in order to prevent unwanted editings save the config files will contain the settings you wish you have set and in case someone uses your file with, with http custom app that person will be able to connect to the internet sexually and also that, that person will be able to get extra protection as is or she or he is using the internet and this is the, these are the settings enter the file name where you see file name you enter the file name so you put there any name you prefer so you put there any name for today's gate i put there http custom config then make sure to enable this lock all and the other setting is you have to enable this extra sniffer this is like extra extra security and the, the other like the other setting is you have to include the expiry date in case you want so you may say that you want your file to expire within a day or a month or whatever so you tap here and then you enable how long your file will be active so you pick here the dates and the month and the year just like you can see and after that you click on save or you click on ok to save your settings you can also pick time at the exact hour when you want your file to be expired and then you click ok you can click on save your file will be saved in in your phone's folder and that's how we simply create a file and let me see like let me show you how, how to locate your file within your phone so you open any file manager app in your device i'm showing you on how to locate your saved config file so that you can share it to your loved ones so you open the app in case you don't have it you can install it in google play store and when you reach here you tap on internal storage this is where you can find your file, your saved file. And when you reach here, you opt for downloads, the folder of downloads. You click on HTTP custom option like that. And remember our file which we named HTTP custom config, it is right here. To share this file, you have to click on these options. And then from these options, you can see this chair button right, right there. And when you click on that share button, it will present you where you can share your file. And you can choose WhatsApp or any other media. And after that, 
in case you want to use your locked file after receiving it you just simply tap on it and it will ask you whether to import it in http custom and that's how we locate our saved file and lastly let me show you on how to import this file within the http custom app so you open the http custom and when you open the http custom app you tap on this plus button and when you tap on the plus button you click on open config this is how to import our file in order to for this app to work and it will provide us with a secure connection and extra protection as we are browsing online so when you reach here you look for your phone internal storage so you locate this name like this icon so your phone name will be here so you you open that folder and from here you will see downloads or in case you have received the file from whatsapp you look for whatsapp telegram you look for telegram whenever whatever you receive the file from you locate for that folder but for today's purpose your saved file will be in downloads so you open download folder just like that and the folder by http custom like that and your file will be here so when you reach on your file just simply tap on it once so it will be imported your file will be imported and <coughs> make sure that you enable this option of udp custom and after importing your file you just simply click on connect in case you have just created it you just click on connect and right now our settings are hidden and it cannot be edited and that's the importance of locking the files you are the like users can't edit the, the settings so the settings remain accurate in order to get a secure connection when you are using this app so you connect to the internet securely and your connection always be secured with this app and within a few seconds the app will be connected and when you try to check the logs it says connected and that's how we set up http custom and that's how we create the files and that's how we lock them and that's how we share the files and that's how we import the files within the http custom app and that is all for today's video enjoy your social connection extra protection and also enjoy creating files of http custom which provide a secure connection to users and also enhance on their online connection that's how we set up this app to get a secure connection please make sure to like share and subscribe on this channel for more useful content and let's meet in the next video.